The CP system CP Shisitemu, Shippi Shisitemu, CPS for short, is an arcade system board developed by Capcom that ran game software stored on removable ROM cartridges. More than two dozen arcade titles were released for CPS-1, before Capcom shifted game development over to its successor, the CP System 2. Capcom's Street Fighter II series is perhaps the best-known franchise within the CPS game library. The first three titles in the series the World Warrior, Champion Edition and Hyper Fighting were all developed on CPS-1 and highly successful. History After a number of arcade game boards designed to run only one game, Capcom embarked upon a project to produce a system board that could be used to run multiple games, in order to reduce hardware costs and make the system more appealing to arcade operators. The system was plagued by many bootleg versions of its games. In particular, there were so many bootleg versions of Street Fighter II that they were more common in some countries than the official version. This problem was virtually eliminated by Capcom in the later CP System 2. The CP System hardware was also utilized in Capcom's unsuccessful attempt at home console market penetration, the CPS Changer, a domestic version of the CP System similar to the Neo Geo AES. Technical specifications CPU Primary, Motorola 68000 at 10 MHz some later boards 12 MHz Secondary, Zilog Z80 at 3.579 MHz Sound chips Yamaha YM2151 at 3.579 MHz Oki OKI 6295 at 1 MHz 7.576 kHz samples Display Resolution, raster, 384 by 224 at 59.6294 Hz Color depth, 16-bit, 12-bit RGB with 4-bit brightness value Colors available, 65,536 on-screen colors 4096 192 global palettes with 16 colors each sprites simultaneously displayable 256 per scan lines sizes 16 by 16 max 16 colors 15 unique plus 1 transparent vertical and horizontal flipping capability Tiles, sizes 8 by 8, 16 by 16, 32 by 32 with 16 colors, 15 unique plus 1 transparent. Tile maps, 3 maps, 512 by 512, 1024 by 1024, 2048 by 2048 pixel. 68K RAM, 64 kilobytes work RAM plus 192 kilobytes VRAM shadow. PPU 192 kilobytes VRAM plus 16 kilobytes cache RAM Z80 RAM 2 kilobytes work RAM Topic <laughs> List of games Topic <laughs> <laughs> CP system dash A year before releasing the CP System 2, Capcom released an enhanced version of the original CP System dubbed the CP System Dash, which had some features that would later be used in the CP System 2, such as the Q-Sound chips. The CP System Dash boards have four interlocking PCBs and are contained in grey plastic boxes. To combat piracy, suicide batteries were implemented, which power the volatile RAM which contained the manual configuration of the display hardware registers, as well as the priorities registers. The CPS-1-68000 code is not encrypted at all. If the battery's voltage should drop below plus 2 volts, the registers manually defined in factory by Capcom in RAM would be lost, and the PPU would no longer have access to the hardware-specific register set on the game used, rendering the game inoperable, and necessitating the operator sending the board to Capcom to be fixed, at his own expense. Unlike the CP System 2, CP System Dash sound ROMs were encrypted using Kabuki Z80s. 
Topic: <laughs> List of games. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Capcom Power System Changer. A home version of the CP system, the Capcom Power System Changer or CPS Changer was released in late 1994 in Japan to compete against SNK's Neo Geo. Capcom released the CPS Changer as an attempt to sell their arcade games in a home-friendly format. The CPS Changer adapter was basically an encased supergun television JAMA adapter, and was compatible with most JAMA standard PCBs. Capcom's protection against people using the CPS changer on other arcade boards was the physical shape of the device. On a normal JAMA PCB it would not attach firmly and tended to lean at odd angles, but it would work. The CPS changer has outputs for composite video, S-video and line-level mono audio. The CPS changer featured Super Famicom controller ports, allowing the use of all Super NES controllers, including their six-button joystick, the CPS Fighter. All of the CPS Changer games used the CPS arcade hardware. The CPS Changer games were simply arcade PCBs in a special plastic shell suitable for home use. This concept was later reused in the CP System 2 hardware. Some CPS-1 games were changed slightly for home release, sometimes including debugging features or other Easter eggs. The CPS Changer was sold as a package deal of the console itself, one CPS Fighter joystick controller, and the Street Fighter II Turbo game for 39,800 yen. Additional games were sold for about 20,000 yen. The final game for the CPS Changer was a back-ported version of Street Fighter Zero. Originally released on the CP System 2 hardware, this special CPS changer version, released at a premium 35,000 yen, was degraded slightly for the older hardware. It had fewer frames of animation for the game characters, fewer on screen colors, and the sound and music effects were sampled at a lower rate. <laughs> List of games See also CP System 2 CP System 3